Love's first emotion springs from the lilac, for it blooms when nature is first aroused, thus it's love's youngest dream to all come back, where it will ne'er again remain unspoused. Love's first emotion springs from the lilac, for it blooms when nature is first aroused. Thus it's love's youngest dream to all come back, where it will ne'er again remain a When time she sowed, the bees came all abuzz, and all around it flew their dance of love. So now we know that those who would savor the sweets of love mustn't neglect the flower. Campfire, the scent of paradise, inspires, reminding us to what our soul aspires, when spontaneous desires overspill, to tell us of duties we must fulfill. Daffodils arranged in their elfin way wear their yellow skirts like fairies' dresses and brighten through the spirit light of morn into the fuller radiance of day. Daffodils arranged in their elfin way Like fairies' dresses brighten through the spirit light of morn into the full radiance of day. Hey, so the radiance of day. Butterflies come to life in pansy psyches, embodied by extension into flight. Their flowers floating on the air, propelled, leaving shadow prints behind on the petals. Butterflies come to life in pansy psyches, embodied by extension into flight. Their flowers floating on the air, propelled, leaving shadow prints behind on the petals. The air fills with honeysuckle-scented nets, from fairies blowing the honey trumpets, while they silver million red geraniums that grow wild into many countless suns. Fills with honeysuckle scented nets From fairies blowing the honey trumpets While they sow vermilion red red geraniums That grow wild into many countless suns
The golden-throated lilies sing at morn, maiden flower blushes, its pureness reborn. Star galaxies of sunflowers sway, echoing the luminosity of day. Galaxies of sunflowers swear, swear, echoing the luminosity of day. She picked some dandelions ripe enough to have gone from gold to just so much fluff, reminding us when soft blown with a puff, that time will spread us too amid the dust. Some dandelions ripe enough To have gone from gold to just so much fluff Reminding us when soft blown with a puff That time will spread us to amid the dust That time will spread us to amid the dust Chrysanthemums drink the mellow day, falling petals carry the light away. The autumn fog enswirls, the mist upcurls, into nothingness the wisp slow unfurls. Chrysanthemums drink the mellow day, falling petals carry the light away. Autumn fog and swells the mist of curls into nothing as the wisps slow and firm. Woodbine wets the air with its cooling musk. Bluebells herald the dim and dewy dusk and ring the dance and song of evening knells, music tinkling in fairy festivals. Cooling mask, bluebells herald the dim and dewy dusk, and ring the dance and song of evening and music singing in fairy festivals. The evening primrose only in the night opens its cup to drink in the moonlight then gazes round with silent love and smiles, much as we would upon a sleeping child. In the name, primrose only in the night, opens its cup to drink in the moonlight, then gazes round with silent love and smiles. Much as we would upon a sleeping child. Its phosphorescent light guides the flight of the flying creatures that love the night. It looks the swelling moon straight in the sight, when they make love in the haunt of midnight. The flight of the flying creatures that love the night. It looks the swelling moon straight in the sight when they make love in the heart of
Apparently everlasting, frozen in time by Eve's purity, survives cold and rhyme. It's a bit of heaven brought to our clime, where it still ignores the knell of death's chime. Pearly everlasting, frozen in time, by Eve's purity, survives cold and rhyme. It's a bit of heaven brought to our climb Where it still ignores the knell of death's chime With willowy grace, Eve fished with vines And the willow yet throws out her lines As drooping branches that fill the streams with tears for flowers that we've never seen. wondered what secrets lie hidden in the heart of a flower, join us on a poetic journey through the Garden of Eden as we explore the enchanting tale of Flora Symbolica. Once upon a time our earth was barren, devoid of life. It was Eve, the mother of mankind, who seeded it with delight, bringing forth a lush landscape of vibrant flora. Among the many blossoms she left behind, a few held special significance. Imagine the sweet perfume of the jasmine, a flower that breathes friendship into the night. Its fragrance, so potent, it overpowers even the brilliance of the stars. Each morning, the dew carries its scent, bringing a fresh good humor to the day. Then there's the lilac, the first blossom to bloom as nature awakens. It symbolizes the youthful dream of love, promising a future where affections will never remain unrequited. When Eve sowed time, the bees danced a love ballet around it. This humble herb reminds us never to overlook the sweet allure of love. Campfire with the scent of paradise serves as a reminder of our soul's aspirations. It whispers of duties we must fulfill when our desires overflow. Now picture the daffodils, their yellow skirts fluttering like fairies' dresses, their radiance growing brighter with the spirit light of day. Pansies, on the other hand, embody the spirit of butterflies, leaving shadow prints on their petals as if they've taken flight. The scent of honeysuckles fills the air, as if fairies were blowing honey trumpets. They sow geraniums, their vermilion red blossoms growing wild in countless numbers. Golden-throated lilies sing at dawn, maiden flowers blush with renewed purity, and sunflowers sway, echoing the luminosity of the day. Eve picked dandelions, ripe and fluffy, a poignant reminder that time inevitably will spread us too amid the dust. As chrysanthemums drink the mellow day, their falling petals carry the light away. Autumn fogs swirl, mists curl, and the wisp unfurls into nothingness. The air turns cool with the musk of woodbine, and bluebells herald the dim, dewy dusk with their evening knells, ringing the start of fairy festivals. The evening primrose opens to the moonlight, gazing round with silent love and smiles, guiding nocturnal creatures with its phosphorescent light. Eve's purity keeps the pearly everlasting, frozen in time, alive through cold and rhyme. It's a celestial gift, a piece of heaven on our earth, immune to the knell of death's chime. Willow with its willowy grace casts its drooping branches like fishing lines into the streams, shedding tears for flowers lost and dreams unfulfilled. This is the story of Flora Symbolica, a tale of love, 
duty, time, and purity, all intertwined in the language of flowers. Each bloom carries a message, a whisper from Mother Nature herself, reminding us of the beauty and transience of life. So, let us honor these blossoms for they are more than mere decorations, they are the timeless symbols of life's most profound truths. The innocent daisy, or the day's eye, is a lot like the sun, it cannot die. It far outlasts every other flower, shining even when the sun has no power. Innocent daisy or the day's eye Is a lot like the sun, it cannot die It far outlasts every other flower Shining even when the sun has no power Arbutus too, whose fruits and flowers of Grew together in inseparable love Eve took along with her, as heaven's boon When she felt the kiss of the rising moon Test who whose fruits and flowers of who together in separable love Eve took along with her as heaven's boon when she felt the kiss of the rising. Out of God's thunderbolt grew the hawthorn, on that day when man and earth were born. Its snowy blossoms of hope and union gave this blessed world its first communion. The fleecy hawthorn sheds its summer snow to remind us of our birth so long ago. So Joseph's hawthorn staff along the way still blooms in winter on Christmas Day. Hawthorne was once known by the name of May, its thorns by then having been bred away. Thus for it the children went a main, and built the maypole, all around a plain. But the calendar was set back 12 days, so May Day was no more. Yet memory stays, and the Queen of Blossoms Day is made when writers and lovers seek out her shade.